Hello everyone, in this video we are going to make this abstract effect, I call this goosebump effect uh, that you can use in the product visualization or you can print this pattern for the wall decoration. To make this we will use Blender 4.2 and Geometry Nodes. Let's get start. Let's add a plane. First we are going to build the setup for the plane and later we will apply this effect to a different object. Okay, uh, let's go to the edit mode add more subdivision to this plane uh, because uh, this effect is based on the polygons of the input mesh let's add the geometry nodes modifier the first node we need is the extrude node extrude mesh and we're going to extrude the base mesh uh, based on its faces and also with individual option next we need the scale element node and we're going to scale down the newly extruded faces okay like this and next we're going to play with this offset direction and offset scale okay for this offset direction we're going to use the noise texture noise color and we're going to disable this uh, normalize option because we want the noise value from negative 1 to positive 1 and also change this to 4d so that we can uh, change this parameter maybe 1 and 0 for the detail now we can see that we can easily animate the pattern but there is a one problem because this uh, these peaks are going inside the mesh means they are pointing opposite to the normal of the input mesh uh, that we don't want okay so to fix this first we're going to get the portion of the this normal texture which is pointing along the normal or opposite to the normal like this uh, with this project node and then we're going to subtract this portion uh, from the original uh, noise field see we have the field which is only tangent to the surface next we are going to add the normal component to this field uh, based on this noise texture so let's add the vector scale node add that into this and we are going to control this scale with this noise so let's get the noise component or the noise magnitude uh, which is along the normal of this surface okay and this can be negative and positive whether this noise field is pointing along the normal or opposite to the normal let me show you this see these black region has negative values so first we need to fix this we can add the absolute node now we have only the positive values and next uh, we can add the maximum node so that will allow us to control the mid level okay for this effect so with this we can type let's say 0.25 this is like a threshold so this is the lowest uh, point for these peaks you can see they are not going down beyond this value and you can adjust this according to your uh, project or according to your style and if you add more number of uh, subdivisions uh, to this base plane you will have more number of peaks okay next we have to fix this zero scale problem means if we add the bevel modifier uh, to this see it is not working the reason for is that uh, we scale down these uh, faces to zero so we are end up with the multiple vertices at the same position so we need to fix that with the help of merge by distance node we only want to merge the vertices that are extruded and let's also increase the threshold to 0.005 and now you can see that this bevel modifier is working let's set this to none and 0 0.02 
maybe 0 0.035 yeah so now it is working nicely and with this we can change this pattern even we can add the ks time speed node to animate on this pattern by the way these utility notes and these file of notes are freely available on my gumroad page if you want these other notes you can get the paid version of this extra notes so now we have fixed uh, that zero scale problem the next problem we have to fix is that the uv map if we want to use the texture for this base mesh let me first uh, show you the problem of the uv map if we add the material to this let's select the material here and then we add the texture to this let us use this uh, leather texture maybe scale round 3 see that texture is get stretched out because of the UVs means if I mute this so this is the texture originally and after that we have this kind of problem so to fix that problem we have to sample the UVs from our base mesh and for that we need to apply this offset after the UV sampling because if we animate this and that going to change or add our glitches in the UVs because we are sampling on the animated mesh we want to sample the UVs onto a static mesh so let's first capture this offset onto the faced main because we are extruding this along the basis and also make this offset scale 0 now let's add the sample nearest surface node change this to vector and we want to sample the UVs select the UVs and then we're going to store these UVs after the scale node after this scale element node change this to 2d vector and this to face corner and here we need to select that UV map and let me show you the problem in this let's hide this so see so these are the UVs before the sampling and these are the UVs after the sampling and if we view the texture see now it is working fine means if I mute this so this is before and this is after next we need to apply this offset so let's add the set position node and then we're going to add the vector scale node so that we can control the offset like this offset and we only want to apply this to the top vertices or the vertices that are extruded by this node uh, let's make this around 0.5 now we have also fixed the uv map problem this is the complete node setup for this effect now let's apply this to a different object and i will also show you how to control this with the fall of nodes okay let me disable this uh, bevel and also hide this plain object uh, let's add uh, probably this monkey and we're going to add one level of subdivision to this and then we're going to add the geometry nodes modifier and let's select that this setup see it is applied to this monkey if we go to the material preview we can see that this material is applied to this monkey and here let me increase this amount too now let's control this scale with the fall of nodes let's add this object sphere fall of node connect this to this and here we're going to add the empty object uh, let's select this empty and here probably we need to increase the size and decrease the fall of width 
now with this empty we can control uh, this effect see you can also use other file of nodes uh, let's add a different one maybe this curve edge file of node and let's make this around 0.25 and 0.25 and here we need to add the curve so let's add the bezier curve bring that here and plug that into the this node now let's go to the edit mode of this curve and we can draw this curve onto this monkey something like that oh sorry we need to change this to surface okay I have also made a preset for this goose bump effect that is available with the extra nodes. You can get these project files and preset from my Patreon page that is also a nice way to support this channel. I hope you learn something from this video. So if you like then please like and share the video and subscribe to my channel for more updates. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Happy noding. Bye.